I have some exciting news for Intel desktop graphics cards. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 11 CD key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 11, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, so I don't know about you, but I am definitely frothing at the mouth for Intel's newest Battle Mage cards, but they've only got a B580 right now. I don't want a 60 class competitor. I want a 70 or dare I say even 80 class competitor. Well, it looks like we have even more information that suggests that yes, Intel could still be developing these cards and releasing them this year. Now, this first bit of information actually comes from a videocards.com article where they spoke spotted over on PCI SIG that there was actually a new entry for an Intel Arc B series graphics processor that is indeed rated for PCIe 5.0 at 32 giga transfers per second. That means the entire 16 lanes of PCIe 5.0 will be available to this upcoming Intel GPU, and it is theorized that this could indeed be the Intel Arc B770, the GPU that we've all been waiting for. This is important because it is also a possibility that some of the CPU overhead problems that are coming from these GPUs could potentially be partially to blame on the lower bandwidth interface that's afforded on the Intel Arc B580. As it has been known in the past, that Intel, for whatever reason, does get some pretty big boosts from stuff such as resizable bar, and it could be a possibility that while Intel does work on actually addressing this both on a driver level as well as on a hardware level fully, it might be that unlocking a full 16 lanes of PCIe 5.0 could resolve this issue for the most part, at least for this performance tier of a graphics card. So we'll have to wait and see when and if, and I actually do believe when this thing comes out later this year, whether or not this full 5.0 unlocked interface solves the issues that we've been seeing on the Intel Arc B580 and older CPUs. So of course, even if you do have a slower CPU and maybe you can run this new graphics card thanks to the better interface, it'll still have to be a newer, slower CPU if you do want to have PCIe 5.0. But there's another bit of information coming from another videocards.com article where they spotted in an official Mesa driver list, they did indeed actually put in writing some new Intel BMG GPUs. Now this is very interesting because they do actually list G31. Now according to the leaks and rumors, G31 does indeed signify that we're talking about their highest end battle mage GPU. This would be something like the Intel Arc B770, maybe they'll call it the B780, as well as B750. And these things would actually be going toe to toe with stuff like an RTX 5070, maybe they could be even faster, maybe somewhere between there and an RTX 5080. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. But if you take a look here, they do actually list a good number of different GPUs. We have, it looks like four in total, which likely signifies, again, something like a B770 and a B750. 50, as well as possibly two data center variants. Now we do also know that this new Intel B770, according to all the leaks and rumors, is going to house 32 compute units. And when you compare that to the B580, well, that's a pretty massive increase. In fact, it's 60% more cores than what you see on the Intel Arc B580. And the B580 is already a pretty respectable graphics card. Now I have gone over the specs before, so if you want to learn more, definitely be sure to pause the video here. But I do want to highlight this will be coming with as well 16 gigabytes of VRAM both on the B770 and the B750 so it'll be able to run all your games at the maximum settings something that maybe the B580 could struggle with in a couple of games thanks to its 12 gigabytes of VRAM although that's still far better than the 8 that you might have to get for the same price depending on availability from someone like Nvidia or AMD. Now in terms of the performance like I mentioned earlier I do suspect that the B780 or B770 whatever they end up calling it their highest end version will likely land somewhere around in RTX 5070. Now the 5070 
on paper, in theory, should be faster, but it's hard to calculate based on the IPC of these cards how close it's going to get because Battle Mage has such a massive leap in instructions per clock that this thing could be anywhere from slightly slower than a 5070 to somewhere between a 5070 and a 5080 depending on the scaling of the cores and that's something we won't know until we get closer to the release date which by the way is going to be quarter four of this year according to all the information we have available. So there you have it, there's even more information, this time some official information straight from Intel that this GPU does indeed exist and everything is pointing towards a release at the end of this year or possibly a little bit earlier. But definitely take this stuff with a grain of salt, I believe it will happen, but we don't know for sure until again we actually get it in our hands. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the Intel Arc B770 and B750 will exist, or do you think they'll end up getting canceled before they have a chance to release? And if they do exist, how powerful do you think these graphics cards are going to be? Do you think they'll match the 5070, exceed it, or maybe be even a little bit slower? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.